I greet you all in the name that is powerful, the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, good morning. Wherever you are in your homes, wherever you have tuned in, thank you for tuning in and allowing us to come in your home this powerful Sunday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad indeed. And we want to thank the Lord for being with us throughout the week and throughout this lockdown. Surely the Lord has been gracious and merciful towards our lives and even to the entire South Africa. And we really want to thank the Lord for what God is doing to our government. The president and his cabinet for the hard work they are doing. We are continuing to pray for them for more wisdom, for more strength in this difficult time. Rock of Salvation Comte Church. Oh, what a joy once again to come and share with you. And I believe that you have called even others to tune in so that you can hear what the word of the Lord is saying to us this wonderful morning. I'm reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. The book of Genesis is about the beginnings. Genesis means the beginnings. And I'm reading from verses 1 right to verses 4. The Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2, the earth was formless and empty. Darkness covers the surface of the watery depths. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, let there be light and there was light God saw that the light was good and God separated light from darkness may the Lord bless his word even as we hear in the name of Jesus Christ the book of Genesis it is called theologically a Yahwist a, a, a narrative which was written somewhere in Babylon by the priest emphasizing that Jehovah the Most High is the creator as the Jewish people who were in exile putting their narrative of creation emphasizing that the only one true God, the supreme one, is the one who created the heavens and the earth. Beloved, this morning I want to talk to you about let there be light. Let there be light in darkness. Yes, let there be light. This, it's a message that came as I've been, you know, following the messages from Isaiah chapter 60 from verses 1 where it says arise shine for the, your light has come for your glory of the Lord has risen upon you the Bible there says behold darkness shall cover the people and thick darkness shall cover the people but the Lord will shine over you the Lord will arise and shine over you. Arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. So today I speak on the subject, let there be light. There has to be light. Light, it is... It speaks of the revelation of God. It speaks of the revealing 
of the reality the revealing of the truth because where there is light everything it is transparent everything it is seen light speaks of that brightness now when we read in the bible we see that in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth i like the word create or created that word means to create or to bring something out of nothing yes god jehovah the most high he is the only one who brought things out of nothing a lot of people and artists they are innovators because we bring things out of something and we innovate and craft things out of those things but god even when there is nothing at all that's where he comes he's the only one who qualifies to be the creator it means he brought forth the earth and the heavens out of nothing he brought them in he is the creator so this is a subject in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the verse does not tell us where god come from because god is in the beginning and he was and he will always be god is eternal substance that exists in three persons the word god there it is uh, singular and also it is also plural it speaks of elohim it speaks of god who is above all things uh, in the hebrew it also uh, used the word magistrate that is the supreme god the one who created the heavens and the earth the father the son and the holy spirit verse 2 it says and the earth was it gives us a description in the hebrew it says it became basically this verse it tells us how the world was there's god created the heavens and the earth full stop but then in that beginning how this earth was i know from verses one and verses two other people they 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 have other theories what we call the gap theory but i'm not talking about gap, gap theory today i'm talking about let there be light and i also want you to understand where i'm coming from that here the bible tells us that god created the heaven and the earth and the verse 2 it tells us how the earth was and the bible here tells us that uh, the earth was formless that's number one number two it was empty number three it was dark because it says darkness covers the surface of the water number four is that the spirit of god was hovering over the surface of the waters four things there that happens four things the holy spirit hovering or moving over the surface of the waters very interesting and i just want to take you there even as we look into the scripture but verses 3 it gives us hope it says let there be light and there was light meaning before god spoke there was no light and today i want us to look into the word to see what god is saying god commanded the light the lord god almighty in the beginning 
when the the planet earth was in chaos he said let there be light you see beloved until the lord speaks things will remain the way they are the word of the lord needs to be spoken even today and this covid 19 in this situation where we are going you need to hear the word of the lord people must know what jehovah the creator the owner and the possessor of heaven and earth what he's saying in this COVID-19 yes people are saying are talking scientists are talking politicians are talking business people are talking everybody's talking but let's hear what the owner the possessor of heaven and earth and the Bible says he said at the beginning let there be light Meaning there had to be transparency. There has to be a truth. Reality must come to the point that everybody can see it. Beloved, Jehovah the Messiah, the creator of heaven and earth, he's the one who must tell us in this time like this, what is it? That which we must do. He's the first and the last. He's the beginning and the end. Yes. He is omnipotent. He is omniscient. He is omnipresent. Yes. It's important throughout the whole world to know what God is saying. And the first point is that heaven and the earth belongs to him psalms 24 says so for god founded it upon the waters it belongs to him so anything that happens on earth it must glorify him it must magnify his holy name because it's about him it's the one who created it he did not ask other people to say come let's create the earth for ourselves but he created the earth and the heavens for himself so when things are not going well it means he jehovah the owner of heaven and earth he saw something that was not pleasing and when he allowed things is fixing things for his purpose because his purpose it shall happen whether we like it or not he is the sovereign god he's sovereign whether the devil is there whether uh, devils and demons and witches and wizards whether illuminatis are there or not god's will and his purpose it shall happen it shall happen definitely from this scripture especially in verses 3 we see god as the first greatest prophet he spoke the word and his word came to pass he said let there be light i like this that today i've joined many 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 prophets who are speaking the word of the Lord after Jehovah has spoken when he said let there be light we serve the speaking God our living God our God is a living God the creator and the prophet who lived forever and ever He spoke and things came to be. That is why we need to read the word and then speak it. And when we speak the word, it shall come to pass. Jesus said in Mark 11 verses 22, he said, if, he says, believe in God. 
He says, anyone who says to this mountain, who says to this mountain, be removed and be thrown into the sea, it shall be so if you don't doubt in your heart. And whatever you say, it shall happen. If you don't doubt in your heart. For James says, anyone who believe and pray must believe and not have doubt because a person who have doubts is like a sea. The waves of the sea who are pushed to and fro. Beloved, he spoke to the earth that was empty. He spoke to the surface that was dark. And his spirit was hovering over the surface. What I'm saying is that in the formless, formless it means a dissolution, something like a desert, a worthless thing, a vain thing, where there is vacuum. Coronavirus is causing unemployment. It's causing a formless, something that does not have shape. Imagine when people start losing their companies, start losing their jobs, how it's going to be. The Bible says the earth was empty. Meaning it was vocality and undistinguished rain not occupied or inhabited lacking reality lacking substance lacking meaning or value coronavirus if you know she has seen an unluto sing a sing a see luto see a band unji go to an et how do men or tepa or modimu apela modimu ting after batubabuile everybody has said whatever they've said we need to hear what God is saying who makes the impossibilities to become possible hey who makes the impossibilities to become possible beloved Speak the word. Pray. The two, when they come together, they make a spark. The spirit will move. As it's moving, something is happening. Christian continue to pray so that the spirit may hoover, hoover over the world, hoover over coronavirus in the hospitals. In South Africa, in all the areas, in all the darkness areas, let the spirit move. When the Holy Spirit moves, when the Holy Spirit moves, then the word of God, when it's spoken, things shall happen we need a prophetic ministry at this time we need a prophetic voice we need to hear what god is saying and this is the word of the lord that this is the time that let everyone keep quiet and let's hear what god is saying and what god is saying is that i'm in charge i'm in control if my people that are called by my name, they humble themselves 
and they repent from their sins and they come to me I'll hear them from heaven I'll heal them and heal their land beloved this is wonderful I'll continue next time but I just want to say there is hope let us not fear let's know that the owner the possessor of this earth and the heavens is in charge is in control it doesn't mean when there is corona it means God has loosed the grip no ways he's omnipotent Morena Alitise Alexanophat. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. And may the Lord bless you and strengthen your life. In Jesus' name, amen.